Hey guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my first empties video, and the reason why I have never done an empties video before, and I probably won't do another one for a while, is because I have so many products, and I rarely go, like, use all of one thing, so it takes me a while to gather up all the empty bottles that I have, but there, over the past two months, I've just been running out of everything. So, I have enough to do an empties video. So basically, I'm just going to show you guys the stuff that I've used up and whether or not I liked it or didn't like it and if it's something I'd repurchase or not. So, basically, everything I'm going to show you is empty. There are two products that I have, like, one use left of, so I'm just going to show them in this empties video. But, I'm just going to randomly pick stuff out of this bag. And the first thing is my Big Sexy Spray and Play Hairspray. And, I did already repurchase this. I really do like this hairspray. I like this one and the Unscented El Net Hairspray. They're like my two hairsprays that I will buy and always repurchase. And I couldn't find the unscented Elnet, so I just picked this one up again. But it really does help keep my curls in, and it makes it, like, not crunchy feeling at all. So, this is something that I really did like, and I repurchased. Next thing is, I ran out of my Victoria's Secret Sweet Temptation Shower Gel. And... Unfortunately, this one has been discontinued, so I only can pick it up during the semi-annual sale if it comes back, but it smelled so good. It smelled like sweet tarts, and I just loved it. Yeah, the bottle still smells like it. So, luckily, I still have the mist and lotion left of this, but if this scent was still available, I definitely would repurchase it. So I'll be looking out for this scent during the semi-annual sale in January. But yeah, I really did like that. Next thing is I ran out of my Dove Go Sleeveless deodorant. And pretty much I stick to the Dove brand. And I believe I did get another Go Sleeveless one, but it's in the blue container, which I think is like the fresh scent or something, um, but yeah, so I did repurchase another Dove deodorant. Next thing is I ran out of my Herbal Essence, um, Shine Collection Brilliance shampoo and conditioner, and I really like the scent of these, and I was so happy when I saw that they brought this one and the pink one back out that was like the first Herbal Essences that first came out. I remember using them when I was a little kid. So I was super excited to see that they came back out and I have already gone through the pink one and I just went through the yellow one and currently right now I'm using the Garnier uh, is it Go Clean? Something like that. I'm using that shampoo and conditioner right now. And I pretty much will always rotate between the Herbal Essence ones and the Garnier one. Only because they all smell really good. And I feel like they really get my hair clean. I never feel like it weighs my hair down. I do have fine hair. So I just feel like it really lays my hair nice and clean and not weigh down at all. So, those are definitely things that I'll repurchase. Next is another shampoo and conditioner. And these were just little travel sizes that I received in my Ipsy Glam bag this past month. And they're the John Frieda Full Repair um, Revives Overworked Hair. And they're supposed to be full body shampoo and conditioner. And to be honest, didn't really do anything for my hair. It's not something I'm going to go out and purchase. I'm really just not a fan of John Frieda products in general. Um, their styling products leave my hair weighed down. And 
I don't feel like the shampoos and conditioners really do anything for my hair or do what they say they're supposed to do. So, um, yeah, it just was a normal shampoo and conditioner and yeah, it's not something I'll repurchase, but I did use up the little travel sizes. Next is my Purity Facial Cleanser. And I just had the small, I think this is, the, yeah, this is the smaller version. And I did like this cleanser, but it wasn't like an, oh my god, it made my skin look amazing cleanser. Like, I have to repurchase it. I feel like there's clen other cleansers are just as good. I don't have sensitive skin or oily skin, so it might work different for people who have those skin types. But I just have normal combination skin. So, yeah, this isn't something I'm going to buy again or splurge my money away on. Um, I feel like there's other cleansers just as good for way cheaper. So, it was a good cleanser, but not something that I'm going to repurchase. Something else I used up was this little sample lotion that I received from Sephora a while back. And... I don't even know how to pronounce that name, so I will just show you. Um, but it's just a little sample tube of the lotion, and it really did make my hands feel nice, but I can't stand the smell of baby powder. I, and that's what it smells like. It smells like baby powder. Yeah. And I'm just not a fan of baby powder. Don't really like that scent. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's not something I'd repurchase. Maybe, I know this brand has other scents. I might try a different scent from them, but this one, I do not like the smell at all. So, once again, a product that I like the way it made my hands feel, but there was just something wrong with it that I wouldn't repurchase that particular one again. Next, I have a sample of the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. And... Um, this I just got like in a little sample kit from Sephora or maybe it was from Ulta. I don't know. It was from one of them and it came with this little sample and I finally used it up and it left my skin feeling like silky smooth but I don't really feel like it helped cover my pores. Like and I don't rub it in. I pat it in over my pores to make sure it like fills in my pores and my benefit um, uh, primed in, oh no, I don't know, the Benefit, um, pore primer works a lot better than this one. It, the Benefit one is the actual only primer I found that actually will fill in my pores and look like I don't have any, because I have really big pores right in this area, and yeah, I just, didn't feel like this really worked. So it's not something that I would purchase the big size of. So I'm glad I got to try the little size of that. Next is my Aquage Beyond Body Thermal Spray. It looks like this. And I love the smell of this. I really felt like it helped keep my curls in. And... I have been on a search for this. If you know where I can get this that's not like a salon, um, let me know down in the comments because I really like this and I want to repurchase it. And I know Ulta doesn't carry it and obviously like Walmart doesn't carry it. I haven't tried Target yet, but I definitely want to repurchase this thermal spray because it is great for when you curl your hair. So... That was definitely something I want to repurchase. And the last thing that is totally emptied out is my CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation in 310. And this was my summer shade. And you can see I totally... I used every little last drop I could get out of this thing. I absolutely love this foundation. It gives great coverage. The color was great. Um... I just really like the texture of it. It blends really nicely. I just love this foundation. It is like my new favorite drugstore foundation. If you haven't tried it, definitely go out 
and pick up one just to try. And I already did purchase another one. I actually purchased a shade lighter though. I think 305 is what I picked up for the fall and winter time. So yeah, this is definitely something that I loved and I already repurchased. And the last two things that I have that have like one use left in them, which I'll probably end up finishing this foundation tomorrow, is my, and I even have it sitting up like this because I'm trying to get all the product to drain down towards the bottom. Because unfortunately this does not have a pump. And this is one of the problems with not having a pump. You have to turn your foundation upside down. Um, but this is the Maybelline Femi Foundation in 115. And this gives about medium coverage. It's a tad too liquidy for me. This is something that got shoved to the back of my drawer. And I'm just trying to use it up so I can stick to foundations that I actually do like. Um, but this, I don't really like the watery foundations. I like something that has, is a tad bit thicker. It doesn't run off your hand if you put it on the back of your hand and then go in with your brush and then put it on your face. Um, and this unfortunately does do that. I mean, I like the coverage of it. And I like the fact that this line does have like the whole like the foundation, concealer, powder, blush that all corresponds to the same number. And it's supposed to be like really nice for your skin tone um but yeah i'm just kind of using this to get rid of it because i've realized that there's other foundations drugstore and high-end that i like better so um and i do have it on today it gives medium coverage like i said it's not like full coverage or anything but yeah so that's almost gone and the last thing i have is my Kate Spade Twirl perfume. I've been savoring it and using other perfumes just so um, I don't have to give, I don't want to use the last drop of it. I absolutely love this perfume and I'm going to repurchase it once I figure out if it's been discontinued or not because I had my six reward points from Ulta and I was going to go and get this perfume, but I did not see this perfume there. So I had to get a different perfume, which I got Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. Um, but I need to find this perfume. If it's discontinued, I'm going to be so disappointed. Oh, I just love this scent so much. Like, I love it. My boyfriend loves it. I need to find this and repurchase it as soon as possible because I really don't want to use the last application of it before I have a backup. So yeah, that is basically everything that I've used up over the past year probably <laughs> um, or a few months. It takes me a long time, like I said, to get empties, but I will keep my little bag and try to remember to throw all my empties in it. That way, you know, I get another collection going for you guys. So these won't be regular videos that, you know, I do every month or every two or three months. I don't know how people go through products like that <laughs> so often, but I'm definitely not one of those people. I have like stockpiles. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And maybe saw something you want to try out that I said I really liked. And yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.